Go Cloud Communications, helping you to thrive online. Hello, this is Cliff Rohde, owner of Go Cloud Communications, and with a quick tutorial on how to fix on a WordPress website 404 page not found errors. So here we are on a regular website, and we can actually see what we're supposed to see. But sometimes, let's say if you click on a page that does not exist, so I'll just type in this fake URL, hit enter, um, we're going to get what's called a page not found error, also called a 404 error. Right, and it tells us this page cannot be found. Now we would expect that because we just typed in a silly URL, but sometimes when you type in the right URL, you still get a page not found error. Now we're not getting that error here because this is a correct and accurate page and we're not experiencing this problem, but sometimes WordPress websites do have this error. And so what we're going to address right now is how to correct that error. It's really pretty simple. So we're going to come to the back end of the website we're going to come all the way down to settings and then in settings we're going to come to permalinks and so if we come to permalinks we can see exactly how the link structure of our website is set up and so this is not uh, the default that we have post name but it's a good way to do it the default gives page numbers and post numbers just a number actually uh, or pages and posts individual numbers which is a silly way to go about naming your website you want to have post names that are related to the content anyway uh, or uh, URLs that are related to the what is actually in the content of the page or the post so what do we do to correct this unintended 404 page error where you type in the correct page address but nevertheless you get that 404 error well what you do is you come to this permalink settings and you just hit save changes I have had much luck in the past just doing that. What that does is it creates a brand new copy of what's called an HT access file, which exists uh, on the back end of your website. You don't typically see it. Um, you don't have to worry about it too much usually um, if you're not comfortable dealing with those types of things. But anyway, that should um, modify that file sufficiently so that now um, when you go visit a page, you're not going to get the 404 page error, but you're actually going to get the page itself. Now, you will also read, if you research this error, that sometimes uh, the solution that people posit is to first click on the default page or permalink setting and then hit Save Changes. And then after that, you have to make sure, however, to go back um, and change it to the way it was. Because if you don't do that, all those old pages and posts that you created with the old structure um, are going to be problematic because there might be links to them out on the website and when people come into them they're not going to find them because now the permalink structure is set to this number situation so this other solution you go to default you hit save and then you go back to the way it was and you hit save and that should clear up any problem with these unintended page not found uh, 404 errors thank you so much for listening hope this was of help bye bye Contact GoatCloud today to help you thrive online. Visit GoatCloud.com for more information.